Good afternoon. In today's video, I would like to show how you can conduct SBAR regression quickly in eViews. I've already loaded my data file in eViews. So after loading your data file in eViews, you can just go to quick menu and estimate the VAR equation. My uh, VAR equation stands in the form of oil ZDP the next is inflation sorry inflation and next is government expenditure sorry government expenditure and the other is money supply interest rate and the final is index value okay is the estimation based on a uh, two lag but i'd like to check it in a full lag okay this is the result based on four lag a var result based on four lag after this you can go to check uh, the lag structure just go to view menu lag structure and lag length criteria in this lag length criteria you can choose uh, the lag based on your data structure my data is in quarter quarterly structure so i'd like to check uh, uh, up to four quarters so that uh, the aic is uh, optimum result is four lakhs and uh, sc sic shows uh, is two lag okay you can choose any of these I'd like to go with uh, Swatzer's information criterion. So I'd like to estimate this on 2 lag. Okay. I'd like to go with this 2 lag. Is the uh, output uh, of bar regression on 2 lag. After completing this, you can go to uh, estimate structural factorization. And to conduct uh, the SVAR regression, you'll get uh, the uh, uh, process over here. And there are several matrix structure and there are restrictions imposed on your SVAR model. You may have a, a different uh, restrictions. Based on your restrictions, you may choose the matrix. And if you have a, a very different matrix, uh, uh, you may do it manually or you can also uh, load your work file matrix mine is recursive long runs impulse that is lower f lower triangular where we have uh, keep uh, the uh, lower triangular variables that can uh, change uh, so the value are n a and the other are upper triangular after the diagonal are restricted to zero values okay after selecting this uh, uh, proper uh, matrix you can go to the result and here is a error message optimization may be unre unreliable okay if you get such error masses you can rectify this error in uh, eviews in such condition you can change this starting value from 0 0.1 to user specified in c and keep this uh, restrictions as it is like before and you should get the result after that so here is a co uh, coefficient values and their standard error z statistics and the probability of z statistics eviews also display the uh, s matrix and f matrix f matrix is based on the restrictions that we have made uh, in the equations and uh, s matrix is without the restrictions so on the basis of this uh, you can also check the impulse response function if you check the uh, you can choose the impulse uh, variable and you can also choose uh, select uh, the response variable. I'll 
I'd like to see the response of index and uh, I'd like to see the standard error band based uh, calculated based on Monte Carlo simulation with uh, 10,000 repetitions and these are quarterly data I'd like to see for 12 quarter uh, the accumulated response is also um, I'd like to check for this accumulated response okay let's go with the result so it shows the uh, impulse response function accumulated impulse response function of NIPSE index to stock index to the variables to the oil to the GDP to the inflation to the government tax expenditure to the money supply to the interest rate and to its own okay so based on this uh, impulse response function IRF you can uh, make further analysis on your study thank you very much